hope you guys doing well and uh, in this video I'm uh, going to uh, show you that uh, how you can work with the canvas which contain the ID of uh, canvas and uh, you can also define the width should be 400 and height also should be 400 so you can also add the script here which can allow you to add the graphical elements like uh, um, I'm going to uh, draw a line uh, with the with that script so what see and then document dot uh, get element by id and then id should be my canvas and then variable should be properly named by id and uh, var should be get context is equal to id dot uh, get context with the uh, 2d and then move to should be 0 and 0 and the uh, line to should be four hundred by four hundred because our um, uh, canvas is uh, having the four hundred height and four hundred width so now I'm gonna add stroke so here we got the results we have draw a line using uh, our canvas so now next thing uh, we gonna work with uh, some you can also draw a circle which is being uh, path path and then need to add here some ARC which uh, has a value 95 and then 50 and then 40 and then 0 and then 20 and that should be 40 and uh, static actually 2 and then static with the math dot vi and uh, we have uh, also added the stroke here so here we got the results now you can also draw a circle using your canvas and uh, now I'm gonna add some text 
in that function so the bean path should be font is equal to forty pixels with the Arial font family you can also remove this one and uh, fill the text with the canvas and uh, the value should be 15 so here we got our uh, canvas work with the canvas you can also draw a text I'm gonna make the make some kind of larger 500 pixels so maybe very big so we can change our value yeah and that can move your this is this is how the hundred percent response yeah this one here so and this is how the uh, canvas works and um, in the in our next video we will work with the SVGs how we can define and uh, add the rectangular and uh, uh, I will also add the link uh, you can also uh, generate your SVGs using Adobe Illustrator uh, in our uh, next uh, video series we will uh, work with the generation of SVGs so that's all for now and uh, hope you guys enjoy my video don't forget to subscribe my channel and uh, click the bell icon uh, and uh, you can also visit my website which is uh, uh, which link is added in the description box so uh, see you guys in my next video